Hello and welcome to EG1000. In this tutorial, I'm going to guide you through some main points you need to be aware of when you design your housing for the pump in the project tool. As you can see on the picture, your pump will have an inlet and an outlet. The inlet can be 25mm or 19mm. Uh, the options will be your own choice. But the outlet is fixed. It has the outer diameter of 19mm and the inner diameter is 15mm. On the other side, you're going to have a hole for the shaft to get into the housing and connect it to the impeller inside and rotate, drive the impeller to pump the water outside this way. Uh, your housing will be made of two parts. Uh, the main reason why it has to be made of two parts is because you need to put the impeller inside. So, for example, in this design, they just make a cut right here to make a cap with the input, the inlet for the water, and they put the uh, impeller inside, connect to the shaft, and then put the cap on and seal it. Um, here I show you a design I have from last year's student. So they have a centrifuge pump uh, that has the outlet going along a spiral and get out of the housing. On the one side, it can be the inlet with the holder over here. You can see that this O-ring going to hold the tube that come over it and seal it over here, the plastic tube from the inlet. And from the other side will be the cap. Uh, you can see that it has place for the shaft to get in and the place for the bearing to hold the shaft and the place for the seal to seal the water not leaking through this one as required. There are some mistakes with this uh, design. For example, uh, the outlet doesn't have the holder to hold the outlet tube and this one is actually not the best pump in the last year uh, examinations. Uh, I think we have many other better pump uh, with better design. For example, I can remember one interesting uh, pump with two parallel inlet and outlet. So the inlet goes this way and then goes this way and the outlet goes the other way. Uh, for those type of pump, you cannot change the directions of water. So water go from one side and get out to the other side. And for this centrifuge pump, you get the inlet and the outlet perpendicular. Okay, so now I'm going to guide you quickly how to design the housing for your pump uh, with some basic command in Fusion 360. At the moment, we don't have the command spiral for sketch. So therefore, it's a bit tricky, but I think we can do it easily with some basic commands. First of all, I need to create a main part of my housing. So I create a new sketch. For example, I choose this one. And I have my housing, for example, 63. Please do not follow my numbers because my number is wrong. Um, I'm not very uh, accurate with the number in this design because I just show you the idea how to do it. Okay, so I have here, for example, 63 and then I can extrude it to get my main part of my housing. So I'm going to make this one on two sides and 10 millimeters for two each size. Yep, 10 millimeters to each side. Yep, this is going to be my main part of my housing. Now I need to do the next one. I need to add uh, the spiral outlet. So I don't have it in 2D to make a sketch. So I use coil to do that. For example, I click on coil. Now a problem is I cannot see the sketch well if I have my body on. So I turn off my body and I click on the sketch and click on the center again to get 
as a spiral out. By default, it should be revolution and height or revolution and pitch because this is coil. But please choose the spiral for uh, the drawing. Now you cannot see your spiral because the body is off. So therefore, please turn it on back again and you can see your spiral outlet. Now, my default should be 0 0.75. Okay, I want to just go to buy 3 quarters only. And uh, for the selection should be circular. Uh, for the position, I should choose inside. If you choose on center, it should be a bit awkward. So please choose inside. And the section size. Now the pitch is the distance from the main circle to the new circle at the end of the revolution. So I choose this one, for example, to be 19. And my section size should be 19 too, something like that. Or maybe just 15. No, 19 is fine to me. And please choose new body. I just want to have a look how it looks like now. Yep, it seems good to me. Uh, a good point over here is that some people want their outlet to be separated from the main housing. So therefore, you can choose a longer distance, so longer pitch, for example, 25. Oh, sorry, 25. So now you can see that your outlet is completely off the main body. Uh, I'm fine with any of them. Sometimes I even use this only uh, 2019, maybe, or maybe 21. Yep. Please choose new body because we need to extrude it later. Okay, I'm fine with this design and okay. Now I click on this face and try to extrude it. Yep. Now you can see here is uh, my main housing. Uh, now I need to make the hollow uh, housing because this one does have any space for the impeller. So I just try to use, first of all, I need to combine them. I already did it. And now after that, I can do the command cell to make the housing hollow. Yep. Click on the face you want to make it hollow and then enter the thickness of the wound you want to have. For example, I enter 1.5. So now you can see I have the first half of my housing. This will be the space for my impeller to get into this one and get out and go through this way. Please keep continuing design with the place for the shaft and bearings and seal. And please complete the cap with the inlet and the holder for the inlet and the outlet. Uh, I hope my tutorial gives you some idea to design your housing with some basic command in Fusion 360. Thank you and see you in the next tutorial.